This video is sponsored by Defense Brand. The AirPods Pro, Apple's latest and greatest in-ear headphones, offer up a few new features and improvements that some users might not know about. And so in this video, we're going to go through our favorite collection of tips and tricks to help you get the most out of your new AirPods Pro. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to get notifications whenever we share a video. All right, so this first tip might seem like an obvious one, but bear with me because when you first get your new AirPods Pro, you might feel like these things are harder to take out of the case than the last generation. And that's probably because you're actually doing it wrong. The easiest way to take the AirPods Pro out of the case is doing it the way that they were actually designed to be taken out, and that's by simply pushing the back of each earbud towards you, and it will swivel right out between your thumb and forefinger. It's super easy. We all know that the new AirPods Pro offer up active noise cancellation so that it can block out the outside world in order to help you focus on what you're listening to. But there might come a time where you might want to turn it off or back on again. You can toggle noise cancellation on and off in a couple of different ways, like heading into control center and long pressing the volume slider and selecting the noise cancellation option in the strip at the bottom of the screen. You can also achieve this by going into settings, Bluetooth, and tapping the information icon next to your AirPods Pro, and then toggling on active noise cancellation from here. If you have an Apple Watch, you can actually flip between noise control features or turn them off entirely just by tapping the icon with the triangle and three circles, and then tap AirPods Pro in the list of audio devices for your noise control options. If you want to activate noise cancellation on only one AirPod instead of both at the same time, Something useful for when using an earbud during phone calls, you can do this by heading into settings, accessibility, AirPods, and then toggle the noise cancellation with one AirPod setting on. The wireless charging case might seem like a fatter version of the previous generation AirPods wireless charging case, but it does hold one new trick up its sleeve. The case includes a new function for checking its charging status at any time. While your case is on a wireless charging mat, you can actually tap the case with your finger to make the charging status light come back on. Amber light means it's still charging and green light means you're good to go. Live listen is a feature we actually highlighted with the original AirPods. And if you want to see that video, you can click the card in the upper right corner. But if you want to turn on Live Listen for your AirPods Pro, which uses your iPhone as a microphone and then relays that audio to your AirPods, you can go to Settings, Control Center, Customize Controls, then tap the plus button next to Hearing, Launch Control Center, and then tap the Hearing icon and turn on Live Listen. Sharing AirPods with someone could be kind of gross, but if two people want to watch the same movie or listen to the same music on a single device together and both users have their own AirPods, you can actually just turn on audio sharing by heading to Control Center and then in Audio Playback Controls, tap that same icon with the triangle and the three circles and bring your friend's AirPods closer to your device. Flip open the lid and a prompt should appear on your device offering to share audio with the second pair of AirPods. If one AirPod is dying, but you still want to keep listening to music, just take one out and put it back inside of the charging case. The AirPods will now convert from stereo sound to mono so that you can use a single left or right AirPods without missing a beat. The force sensor on your AirPods Pro allows for you to switch between noise control functions with a simple press and hold. And if you want to adjust the press and hold duration, you can actually do this inside of the settings app. Go into accessibility and then AirPods. And under that, you'll see press and hold duration and you'll see options for shorter hold durations. In the same section of the settings menu as our last tip, you can actually adjust the press speed of your AirPods for media playback controls like play pause, skip forwards, or skip backwards. If you're having trouble engaging these functions, you can adjust this speed to make it slower. Losing your AirPods Pro can be a very stressful thing. But thanks to Find My App, you should be able to locate them. Simply open the Find My App, tap Devices at the bottom of the screen, and then select your AirPods Pro in the list. You can now play a sound if you think the AirPods are somewhere within earshot, or get directions to see its last known location. If you receive a call on your iPhone or an Apple Watch with cellular, when your AirPods are connected, the ringing tone will interrupt whatever it is that you're listening to. To find out who's calling, normally you'd have to take out your iPhone or look at your Apple Watch, but you can actually now have Siri announce who it is over your AirPods by heading into settings, 
phone and under announce calls, you can select the headphones only option. If you want to know how much battery is left for your AirPods Pro, you can do this by checking the today view widget on your iPhone or simply ask Siri, how's your AirPods battery? If you're wearing an Apple Watch, you can swipe up to bring up Control Center, then tap the Apple Watch battery icon and your AirPods battery should be listed here as well. If you put an earbud back inside the charging case, you'll actually see individual battery results pop up for both AirPods and the case too. Finally, if you need to reset your AirPods Pro for whatever reason, simply place the AirPods Pro inside of the case and then close the lid. Wait 30 seconds and then open the lid. Head into settings, Bluetooth, and then tap the information icon next to your AirPods Pro. Select forget this device, and then with the AirPods case open, press and hold the button on the back of the case until the status light begins flashing that amber color. Your AirPods will now be reset and ready to pair with another device. Before we end today's video, I do want to give you more information about today's sponsor, Defense Brand. Defense Brand offers up some pretty awesome accessories like the new Defense Duo wireless charger, which can wirelessly charge your cell phone and another Qi compatible device like another phone or even some AirPods Pro. And it's super sleek with its machined aluminum look. And there's even a bonus USB port on the back to charge even more devices. Defense Brand offers up protection for your iPhone with its new lineup of cases called the Defense Shield. Defense Shield embodies protection and style, certified to exceed military grade drop test standards for up to 10 feet. The anodized aluminum bumper is available in rose gold, red, black, purple, or iridescent, which looks really cool. Oh yeah, there's even protection for your AirPods case. For more information on Defense Brand and all of the awesome products, click the link in the description down below. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you around in the next video.